Shalom. Uh, this morning I want to talk about the law. And I'm going to read some scriptures starting at uh, Romans chapter 7. And uh, I'll let the scripture speak, and if I have a thought to share with it, then I'll add, not add to it, but add my thoughts that uh, as the Spirit leads me. Romans chapter 7. Now you know not, now you, now ye not, know you not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law, how that the law has dominion over a man as long as he live it. For the woman, consider the church, the woman, for the woman which has a husband is bound by the law. Uh, the law was given by Moses and that woman was bound you know, under the law of Moses. For the woman which has a husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he live it. But if the husband be dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then, if, while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. Therefore, my brethren, ye also are become dead to the law by the body of Christ, that you should be married to another, even to him who is raised from the dead. Christ, while he walked on the earth, he followed the law of Moses, but he came to fulfill all righteousness. That's why he told John the Baptist, he said, you know, John told him, I'm not worthy to baptize you but Christ said do it to fulfill all righteousness fulfill the law because he came to fulfill the law she is free from that law so that she is no adulteress though she be married to another man wherefore my brethren you are also become dead to the law by the body of Christ that you should be married to another even to him who was raised from the dead that we should bring forth fruit unto God. For when we were in the flesh, the motions of sins, which were by the law, did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death. But now we are delivered from the law, that being dead wherein we were held, that we should serve in the newness of spirit and not in the oldness of the letter. So we're not under the letter since Christ has been risen, we're not under the letter of the law. We're under the spirit of the law. Through faith, we believe unto righteousness. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. Nay, I had not known sin, but by the law. For I had not known lust, except the law had said, Thou shalt not covet. The law pointed us to know right and wrong. It showed us the difference of right and wrong. It showed us what sin was. It pointed us to it. But sin take an occasion by the commandment, wrought in me all manner of concupiscences. For without the law, sin was dead. And two hours, uh, we were shown what sin was. We didn't know what sin was. We just did what came natural. We didn't know. But the law pointed it out to us. Now, this is, this God don't like that. Y'all don't like that. For I was alive without the law once. But when the commandment came, sin revived and I died. The law gave me a conscience of what sin was. And the commandment which was ordained to life, I found to be unto death. The law 
came that I may have life, but I found that I could not keep the law, so it brought death. For sin taken occasion by the commandment deceived me, and by it slew me. Wherefore, the law is holy, and the commandment is holy, and just, and good. So it was no problem. It, the problem was not the law and the commandments. The problem was sinful man who could not keep the law. Was then that which is good made death unto me? God forbid, but sin, that it might appear sin, worketh death to me by that which is good. That sin by the commandment might become exceedingly, exceeding sinful. The commandment just added up, and the more and more I read commandments, the more and more I saw that how sinful I am or we are, and we can't do nothing about it because we can't stop saying it. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, so would understand. For that which I do, I allow not. For that which I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that do I. If then I do that which is which I would not, I can sit unto the law that it is good. Now then, it is no more I that do it, but the sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. For the good that I would, I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. Now if I do that, I would not. It is no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. I find then a law that when I would do good, evil is present with me. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, for I see another law in my members, worn against the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who should deliver me from the body of this death? I thank God, God, through Yeshua, the Christ, our Lord, so then the mind, with the mind I serve the law of Yah, with the flesh the law of sin. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which walk, which are in Christ Jesus, Christ Yeshua, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law of the Spirit is life in Christ, Yeshua, has made me free from the law of sin and death. For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, Yah sent his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and for sin condemned sin in the flesh, that the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. We walk after believing in Yeshua, we walk in faith. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. Now what are the things of the spirit? What are the things of the flesh? We're going to go to Galatians. Uh, I'll go to uh, Galatians 5 and 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to the other so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. 
Now the works of the flesh are manifest. These are the works of the flesh. So you find yourself doing this that you're not in the spirit. Which are adultery, which are these? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, humiliation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have told you in the past, times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah. So if you're doing these things and practicing these things and not repenting, you're not in the kingdom of Yah. You shall not inherit the kingdom of Yah. So turn away from these things. That's what I, not added, but that's my thoughts according to what I've read. But the fruit of the Spirit is, this, this is now, this is what we want. This is how you know you're in the Spirit. This is how you know you're approved of Yah. And you're in Yah. This is, this is our goal. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. So if you're doing these things, there is no law unto you. The law is passed away unto you. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and the lusts. And if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. So if we're out telling people, you know, you're going to hell, uh, y'all hate you, I hate you, they hate you, we hate you, All, all these things that are fleshly and carnal that we're saying out of our own lust to, to put ourselves up, up high and put others low, do things to persecute people, do things to hurt people. Because Christ says, I came not to destroy man's lives, but give them life that they may live. So if we're doing things contrary to Christ. We're not in Christ. We're actually doing the work of the evil one. So let us be mindful of those things. So we should walk in the spirit and not in the desires and the carnality of our flesh. Until next time, shalom. So